In this video, we're going to look at factorizing trinomials that are non-unitary, so the coefficient of the x squared term is more than 1. So our factorizing checklist, we're going to look for the common factor, difference of two squares, and then factorize our trinomial. Remember to look for the common factor first. So if we were to expand 2x plus 3 upon x plus 5, you can see we would get 2x squared plus 10x plus 3x plus 15, and collecting our like terms, we would get 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. And if we were to do the same thing for 2x minus 3 upon x minus 7, you can see we would get 2x squared minus 14x minus 3x plus 21, and 2x squared minus 17x plus 21 when we collect our like terms. Now, you can see that I've put the coefficient of x squared and the constant term in red in both cases, and then the coefficients of our expanded x terms in blue. And if we multiply them together, we get the same number, and this is our magic number. So 2 times 15 is 30, which is the same as 10 times 3, and 2 times 21 is 42, which is the same as negative 14 times negative 3. These are known as our magic numbers, so once we've calculated our magic number, we can work out which factors of that number add together or subtract from each other to give us the x term in the middle. So let's factorise 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite our expression. So we've got 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Now we're going to work out our magic number. So we're going to multiply the coefficient of x squared with a constant term, which in this case is 2. So we're doing 2 times 2 equals 4. And then we're looking for factors of 4, and they're both going to be positive because we've got a positive x term and a positive constant term that add together to give us plus 5. And that will be plus 4 and plus 1. So we're going to rewrite our expression, replacing the plus 5x with a plus 4x and a plus 1x. Now we don't need the 1 in front as a coefficient of x, but it sometimes helps when we're factorising the second half of the expression. So the common factor of 2x squared plus 4x is 2x, and that's upon x plus 2. And then we've got a plus 1, which is the highest common factor of our 1x plus 2. And so our brackets are going to be 2x plus 1 upon x plus 2 as the factorization of 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Now if we want to factorize 3x squared minus 6x plus 3, it looks like a non-unitary factorization, but we've got a common factor which will not then make it a unit tree, which will be much easier to solve. So the highest common factor is 3 of 3x squared minus 6x plus 3. And so we're going to take that common factor out to leave us with a unit tree factorization of trinomials. So it's 3 upon x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, we're going to factorize that trinomial and you can see that we've got a negative x term and a positive constant term. That means that both of our brackets are going to be subtraction brackets. And we need to work out factors of 1 that will subtract from each other so that they're both negative to give us negative 2. And the only option is negative 1 and negative 1. Multiplying them gives us a positive 1 and subtracting them gives us negative 2. So bring down the 3, and we've got x squared, and we're going to replace the minus 2x with negative 1x minus 1x, and then we're going to remember to add on the 1. We're going to keep that 3 in front of our bracket, and we're going to factorize the first two terms. So the highest common factor of x squared and minus 1x is x. So we have x upon x minus 1. And then we need to work out the highest common factor of minus 1x and plus 1. And that will be minus 1. And our bracket will be the repeated x minus 1 bracket. Because minus 1 times x is minus 1x. And minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1. 
So our final factorising of this expression is 3 upon x minus 1 upon x minus 1 and we can use our rules of indices to tidy that up and give us 3 upon x minus 1 all squared. Now in this example we want to factorise 3x squared plus 13x minus 10. So there's no common factor, it's not a difference of two squares, it's a factorisation of trinomials. So we need to work out what our magic number is. And we work that out by multiplying the coefficient of x squared by the constant term, remembering to include the sign in front of the constant term. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by negative 10. And 3 times negative 10 is going to give us negative 30. So we're going to have one positive and one negative bracket. It's a positive x term in the middle, so therefore the bigger factor is going to be positive. So we could try plus 30 and minus 1, plus 15 and minus 2, plus 6 and minus 5. The only combination that gives us plus 13 is the plus 15 minus 2. So that's what we're going to replace the plus 13x with. So we've got 3x squared, and then we've got plus 15x, minus 2x, and we're bringing down our constant term of minus 10. Now we need to factorise the first two terms, and the highest common factor of 3x squared plus 15x is 3x, and our bracket will have x plus 5, and the highest common factor of minus 2x minus 10 is minus 2, and again, our repeated bracket is x plus 5. So 3x squared plus 13x minus 10 factorises to become 3x minus 2 upon x plus 5. And remember, you can always check by expanding your brackets. Now in our final example, we want to factorise 6x squared plus x take away 12. So referring to our checklist, we're looking for a common factor and a difference of two squares, there are neither of those, we have a factorization of trinomials with a non-unitary coefficient of x squared. So we've got 6x squared plus x minus 12. We need to work out what our magic number is. We do 6 multiplied by negative 12 to get that magic number, and then we need to work out factors of that number to give us a plus 1x in the middle. So 6 times negative 12 is going to give us negative 72. Now we've got a positive x term, so our larger factor is going to be positive. So we could try plus 72 and minus 1, plus 36 and minus 2. We could have plus 24 and minus 3. We could also have plus 18 and negative 4. We could have plus 12 and minus 6 or we could have plus 9 and minus 8. And it's the final option that gives us a plus x when we add them together. So that's what we're going to replace our x term with. So we're going to have 6x squared as our x squared term. Then we're going to have plus 9x minus 8x. And then our constant term is minus 12. So we need to work out the highest common factor of 6x squared plus 9x, and that is 3x. And inside our bracket, our two terms are going to be 2x plus 3. And then when we factorise minus 8x minus 12, we get minus 4, and inside the bracket is going to be 2x plus 3. So that means that when we factorise 6x squared plus x minus 12, we end up with 3x minus 4 upon 2x plus 3.